So let's talk about how to add site link extensions in Google Ads. It's actually a pretty straightforward process. Uh, when you have an ad selected or a campaign selected, I should say, um, you can actually add site link extensions to ad groups or campaigns, either one. So we have a campaign selected and under ads and assets, you'll find uh, you can click on either ads or assets. You'll need to click on assets. That's essentially the site or uh, the extensions. It used to be called extensions. Now this section is called assets. And then you can toggle from different views and then select, you know, which ones you're looking for. So I just have site link extension selected here. And you can see there's none created yet. So if we click on this blue plus sign here, then it's going to pop up a window that looks like this where we can then go in and start adding some site link extensions. So like I was saying before, you can do this at, well, you can actually do it at the account level, the campaign level, or the ad group level. So for this one, we're just gonna do it at the campaign level. And for site link extensions, you essentially want it to just be text or um, links that people would wanna click on if they were needing to find out more information about your company. So the most common ones are going to be stuff like about us, testimonials, or reviews, some sort of social proof, right? Um, get a quote. I mean, this will usually be like the last one. Uh, maybe a gallery if, if you have some sort of images for people to see. So, you know, it'll end up looking somewhat like this, where you'll have your basic ad text above and then down below, people can then click on these different links known as site link extensions. And then these are actually gonna go off to the different pages of your website. So you would obviously need to add a URL in here. So it would be something like can't spell today. Um, example.com wow forward slash about reviews gallery and contact right so these are really common pages of a website and you, all you really need to do is add in the text for the link itself and then the page that you want the link to go to. Now, this URL here will need to be the same as the URL for the ad. So whatever page, uh, or excuse me, whatever domain the ad is pointing to, this will need to be the same, right? Outside of that, the only other thing is you can't have multiple site links that go to the same page. So if your ad goes to one page, then a site link extension cannot go to that same exact page. It will need to be a different page of your website, essentially. So we can have these set up here. If we're happy with that, we can just click save and those site link extensions will be added. And once they're approved, they'll actually start running. And then when somebody does a search, they'll see those at the bottom of the ad. Now you can take it a step further if you want and you can add some descriptions in here. So you know, you can come through, fill these out. I'm not going to do this all right here. But when you do that, it will show beneath these and show a much larger, oftentimes it'll split it up so you'll have two here and two here. And it'll say about us, and then I'll have a description, and then I'll say testimonials and have a description, then gallery with a description, and get a quote with a the description. These are recommended, they're not necessary or required, but you know, the more information you give Google, the more it can test and figure out what's working. So I always say fill out as much of this as you possibly can, and then click save, see what happens, and then when you when you're done setting those up and they've started running for a while, you start to get some conversion data coming in. This is actually for our other extensions on this campaign. But one quick note, these extensions 
like with a site link extension, if you get 19 clicks, it doesn't necessarily mean that there was 19 clicks on your site link extension. Oftentimes it just means that there was 19 clicks on your ad when your site link extensions showed up. So just be a little bit careful about these numbers because just because you got three conversions from your site link extension doesn't necessarily mean they came from somebody clicking your site link extension. It could just mean that your site link extension showed up, they clicked on your ad, and then they became a conversion, right? So if there's anything you do have questions about in terms of how to add site link extensions in Google Ads or how to edit them or best practices or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.